This video is brought to you by Manscaped. More about them at the end of the video. I'm gonna take a shot on this one. You're gonna see beer. I'm buying everybody around on this. Oh my God. Everybody, welcome back to Big Apple Hockey Bar Talk, where we gauge our confidence on NHL topics based on our choice to drink. Are you so confident that you're buying everybody around? You just like so so, you'll take a beer, or you know, man, I just need a shot. That's all I need. So, Anthony, we'll start with this one. And you know what? I'm going to stick with the wording on this, but the New York Rangers may have severed their relationship with Capo Caco after the healthy scratch in game six. Shot. Um, saw Drury's comments today at his media availability. He talked to Caco, talked about how, you know, world-class player and still developing. They believe in him. Um, and I, I think Caco is not really, um, you know, hugely offended by it. I think he understands. Uh, so, I mean, I, I don't think it should have happened. I mean, in favor of Dryden and Hunt, I mean, I, I get that, you know, Kako still hasn't produced offensively like everyone was expecting him to, but still, I mean, he's still better than better play than Dryden Hunt on his worst day. So, um, I don't get it, but no, overall, I don't think this, this says several relationship at all. It's definitely a shot. 100%. Uh, I want to agree with you. I'm going to go with beer because I heard the way he found out was getting to the arena and seeing the lineup card. So that's one thing he already went through it, but supposedly Gerard Gallant took him aside, talked to him about it. And he also said, I see him being here for a long time. He's a world-class talent is his comments too, because I, I think Gerard Gallant was trying to change things up. I, I don't agree with it. Uh, we got it's, Oh, Hey, by the way, the uh, manscaped huge money saver, according to what Mike is saying, but it's, it's one of those things that it's I, I if you explain it to somebody, this was one out of a while. Just communicate. That's what you have to do. It's important for every relationship, whether or not it's coach or player, a husband, wife, me and my laptop. It's just how you have to get there. All right. This is the one that I smiled when I put this one down, but also it's going to be a sensible answer. Anthony, the Islanders gave up on Devin Taves too early. Devon. Or gave up on Devin Taves. Devon. All right, Devon Taves. Um, and no, this is easily a shot. They didn't, they didn't give up. They didn't trade him because they were giving up on him. Like they thought that, um, you know, he wasn't going to pan out or he wasn't going to fit. They traded him because of the cap. He, he was an RFA with arbitration eligibility. Um, and due to their cap situation at the time, I think Lou feared that he might get awarded too much. Um, and unfortunately at that time, Nick Letty still had two years left on his deal, five and a half. Uh, and I guess he felt that, um, you know, he would have been harder to move and Taves had value and, you know, he can get a couple of picks and recoup some assets. Uh, so that's why he was moved. They didn't give up on him. So, um, it's, it's a shot for sure. I'm going to go shot as well. Uh, and I'm going to put it right over your face again. Sorry, but you know, it's, it's it's amazing. That situation reminds me of something where it was he was an RFA. They were afraid of him getting awarded too much money. Good player, but they had other players in the pipeline, Noah Dobson specifically, that could end up filling his role. God, what does that remind me of? Oh, basically Pavel Buchnevich, except as a defenseman. And well, again, I wish these guys success elsewhere, but that's how when you have to identify the guys you're going to go with, Rangers did that, and uh, going back to the Islanders, the Islanders did that. They didn't want to give up on Devin Taves. I I agree with you on that 100%. Devin Taves is a hell of a player. And I actually think if they actually were able to keep him one more year, who knows? Maybe they're the ones hoisting uh, last year's Stanley Cup, but it wasn't meant to be. Anthony, going into the finals, Nate McKinnon will be the most electrifying player in these finals. Round. Um, Kucherov is really good, but there's something about McKinnon. He does bring you out of your seat with just how fast he skates and how he moves. Um, you know, I think he's the most dynamic player. Uh, so this is easy for me. It's a round. I got to go with you on that one. It's definitely a round. Nate McKinnon is going to be just right there. This guy's got to have a motor 
He's going to be determined. Mm -hmm. Everybody has said this about him for years. He was never the reason why Colorado couldn't break through the conference finals. He was never the reason why they couldn't make it to the Stanley cup finals, but he is the reason why they are here right now that he was his points per game fourth, uh, sorry, sixth all time and behind two active players. And those two active players play with each other. It's Drysdale, uh, sorry, Drysidle and McDavid. So, I mean, Nate McKinnon is going, he's worth the price of admission. I can't wait to see this. Going on to the two guys that are injured right now. Nazem Kadri means more to the Avs than Brandon Point means to the Lightning. Well, it kind of answered this before when I talked to, I think, I think Point returning will mean more um, just because he's going to bring a much more off- offensive depth. Not that Kadri wouldn't do that for Colorado, but, um, I think Colorado, even without him, is has enough firepower to to really, you know, put up a lot of goals and points. I know mean, Kadri's great defensively and having him will help shut down the opposing teams, but I think Braden Point coming back to the lightning just really makes him that much more dynamic. So um I I'll I'm gonna go uh, once again I'm gonna go shot here. Um I'm gonna say shot and Braden Point is the means more if you could say it like that. Uh, I'm going to go beer. I think it may, I might be equal on this because there's just times where I look at those two guys, Brandon point. He had a hell of an offensive season against the, uh, against everybody last year. I think it was like, what was it? Tank straight games with a goal last year yeah, versus the yeah. Islanders and everyone ends. Then it was, he's been out. And although I think everybody's filled in for him, well, their power play has not been as good minus Braden points. Mm-hmm. Not that Corey Perry can't do it uh, or do the role. He'd only did it for 15 <laughs> years with Anaheim and won uh, a heart trophy doing it. But I mean, I also think Kadri might be there. Uh, one of their centers they use for matchups too. So that's where I'm, I'm, I'm undecided about this. Hopefully both these guys are healthy and hopefully they're going to be at their best because they might be a huge difference in this series on, on both teams. And Anthony, one last point, one last point on this. Uh, you spelt uh, Point's first name wrong. It's Braden with an E, not an O. No! <sighs> uh, uh, all right. Well, hold on. Let me get it up at least. Title of my sex tape. And uh, well, at least I got this one right as we're going to move on. John Cooper is the most underrated coach or player in NHL, in the NHL right now. Um, shot he's not i don't okay. think he's underrated i think he gets i think he gets the credit he deserves for sure um one of the best coaches in the in the nhl back-to-back cups um you know everyone that speaks of him speaks of high how highly regarded of a person he is um you know well educated i think he was a law he was a lawyer or an attorney before he actually started coaching. yeah um no he, he's he's fantastic i mean you know, when you talk about best coach, I know you have to talk about Barry Trotz and whatnot, but John Cooper, um, at this point, how could he not be? He's at the top of the heap. I mean, I'm I'm actually going to go beer to this because you're right about this, and there's a couple reasons why I'm going to undo my own argument on this. And um, by the way, everybody, the answer is on why Anthony's face keeps getting covered is we're supposed to be a threesome up here. <laughs> so it's that's what my main graphics for. I have to try to adjust those. But the the thing about Cooper is every year he's never mentioned for a coach of the year. Uh, Everybody knows how good he is. He's never won a Jack Adams. How has he never won a Jack Adams award? And that's still boggling to me. But then again, he's the coach of Team Canada. Mm -hmm. He's the um, he's I mean, everybody knows how great of a guy he is and all. But it's just I I don't I don't get it, Anthony. He's just he's somebody that's like the least talked about greatness of this era, I think, but that's just me. All right. Moving on to John Tortorella and Philly press will be a match made in, made in hell for those of you who don't know. And I've seen it in the comments. So you guys already know Tortorella was offered the flyers job today or yesterday, late last night by, uh, or Kevin weeks, came on and said that 
The Tortorella and the, the Tortorella and the Philly press will be a match made in hell. And I'm, I'm using this to describe just how entertaining it's going to be. Anthony, it's, I got to buy around on this. It's uh, definitely around. There's going to be so much that he's going to have to talk about. First off, he's got to get Rasmus Ristolainen to play defense. Uh, and uh, I mean, who knows who they might acquire in the off season. Cause Philly is just going to be, uh, Philly's going to be active. We know this. Yeah. It's going to be great. I can't wait <laughs> to hear. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. The one thing we all know though, is once you hire John Tortorella, your team is better. It is that easy to say, Anthony, your thoughts on this. No, it's, it's, it's great. Um, it's his personality kind of fits. He's, you know, he's loud, he's boisterous. He, he speaks his mind. Um, I can't wait to hear the torts sound bites again after a game when a reporter asks him a question after a loss. It's, it's great. He's, he's must see TV. Um, but no, he, he, at, at the root of it, you know, he, he's a, he's a great coach. You know, he's the last, he's the last coach to take down the lightning in a playoff series. That's um, correct. The blue Jackets swept them. Um, he, he's he's a good coach. He's definitely a good coach. He demands a lot out of his players. Um, I think it's a good hire for the Flyers. I think he's definitely what the Phil, uh, what the Flyers need. I was gonna say Philadelphia, and then I chickened out. Say is starting to say it halfway through. Oops. But uh, the he's exactly what the Flyers need. They need somebody that's gonna come in and clean things up. Um, get these guys skating again, and they will skate through a wall for John Tortorella. Mm-hmm. I can I can tell you that. Uh, the best quote ever said about him was when the Rangers hired him in 2009. Marty St. Louis said the New York Rangers just became a better team today and they're going to start playing the right way. And that's what Torts does. He, that's what he expects out of people. Second most active um, U.S. coach in wins or U.S. American born coach in wins. Peter, La- Peter Laviolette, number one. I almost screwed it up, guys. All right. And our last one for the day. Bruce Cassidy will get Vegas back into cup contention. I give it to you, Mr. LaRocco. Um, I'm going to say beer. It's, it's more on McCrimmon, see if he makes the right moves to to get the roster in place. But um, I thought Cassidy got a raw deal in Boston. Um, you know, he even said that when the playoffs ended, he, you know, he, um, he was told that he was safe. Uh, and then he goes ahead and gets fired, you know, a couple of weeks later. So I thought he got a raw deal. Um, I think he's, you know, I think he's a good coach, good move for Vegas. Um, but again, you know, Kelly McCrimmon's got work to do in the off season to, to make sure that, you know, Vegas doesn't miss the playoffs again. Um, you know, they're not in the best cap situation, so it's going to be interesting to see what they do, but Vegas is a team that always has their hand in the mix of a player that comes on the market. I don't know how, uh, but they always do. Um, so we'll see what he can put together. But, I mean, if you're picking a coach, uh, you know, I think they made the right choice in Bruce Cassidy. I'm actually going to buy around on this. I think he's going to be a great fit for them. Uh, when you have the pick of the litter, and really Vegas had the pick of the litter as soon as they uh, got rid of Pete DeBoer, that Pete DeBoer made me nervous because I said back in November that Vegas was going to miss the playoffs. And then they did. I also said Pete DeBoer was going to get fired. Then they did. So and not that I'm relishing in it. I was just happy to be right. Uh, I, I don't wish anybody to be fired. But it's um, – but, no, Bruce, Bruce Cassidy is going to get them playing his way. And they got a hell of a top line, Pacioretty with Stone and Eichel, if that's the line that they decide they want to go with. You're right about that. McCrimmon's going to have uh, his hands full trying to figure it all out. But – that's you know <laughs> it's it's going to be good yeah. to see to see Vegas well winning again we'll see about it. they have a lot of holes defense everywhere else how they manage the the actual salary cap because now they can't just hold out everybody for the playoffs all right everybody that was the end of Big Apple Hockey Bar Talk where we gauge our confidence on NHL topics based on our choice of drink uh, and again I want to sh- give a shout out to. Our new sponsor. Yes, that's right. We sold out because we have to. We're trying to make money. <laughs> and we're going to, we got the Manscaped products right over here. You got the ear and nose trimmer right there. Yes, that's good. Yeah. They, they got a lot of great stuff so far. I've been using it and, and I've been loving it so far. Go to Big Apple Hockey. Sorry. Go to manscaped.com. Put in BAH for a promo code 20% off for 
and free shipping. So it's... Please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great hockey content and an entertaining interactive podcast. So check us out and our library of videos.